Hi guys, it's Julianne and I'm an ECD HUB coach. Today I'll be showing you a fun addition and subtraction game that you can play with your kids. For this game, you're going to need some UNO cards, an addition and subtraction sign, a sheet of paper, and some pennies. You can use any objects to represent your addition and subtraction signs. All right, to start out, we're gonna do some addition problems. So we're gonna start out by using a one and a three. So if we have a one, we're gonna put one penny there, and we have a three, we're gonna put three pennies there. Then we're going to explain to our child what we're doing here. We're adding the one penny to the three other pennies. So one plus three equals, then you are gonna have your child count how many pennies are left. So we have one, two, three, four pennies all together. So now you're going to write out the addition problem for your child. So we have one plus three and explain to them what the equal sign means, which means you're adding them all together and this is what they equal when you add them all together. So one plus three equals four. All right, for our next problem, now we're going to take a four and a six. So we're first going to start out with four pennies. Then we're going to get six pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, so we have four pennies to start out with and we're adding six more. So four plus six, now you're gonna have your child count all of them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we're gonna write it out. You start out with four pennies, you are adding six pennies, which equals, we counted, 10 pennies. All right, let's do one more addition. We're going to start out with seven pennies and we're going to then add four more. So starting out with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pennies. Then we're adding one, two, three, four more. So we started out with seven, we're adding four. So now you're gonna tell your child to add them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we started out with seven pennies and we're adding four more which gives us 11 pennies. All right, this time we're gonna do a subtraction problem. So let's start out with the number five and the number two. So what's different for subtraction is we're gonna be taking away the pennies instead of adding the pennies. So we only need five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. And instead of putting two over here, what you need to explain to your child is now we're taking away two from the five we have here. So now we're taking away two, one, two. How many do we have left? So we have three left. So now we're doing five. Started out with five and we took away two pennies, which left us with three pennies left. All right, let's do another one. Now we're going to do, start out with the number eight. And then we're gonna start out with the number four. So this time, once again, we're gonna start out with eight pennies. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pennies. Now, instead of putting four over here, it's telling us to take away four from the eight pennies. So we have eight here. We're going to take away one, two, three, four pennies, which leaves us with one, two, three, four pennies left. So we go over here and we write eight minus four equals four. All right, let's try one more. Let's start out with the number six this time and the number zero. All right, so let's try not to be tricked from this one. So we're going to start out with one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're telling us to take away zero. So if we're taking away zero, how many do we have left? We still have one, two, three, four, five, six pennies left. So we go over to our paper and we write six minus zero or take away zero pennies equals six.